Okay, right, so I, I shared with you guys uh, just a, a packet of a couple of things that I'll be talking about today. Um, that way you can kind of take it home and look at it afterwards, only because, you know, sometimes it, it, you may not grasp the things that, are, that you're hearing at the moment, right? But maybe later on, after you go home, let it marinate, maybe some of the stuff will make more sense, some of the stuff I'll be talking about. Although a lot of the things that I'll be talking about are things that we already kind of know subconsciously, right? Um, but sometimes it, it helps when somebody else kind of brings it up for us to kind of, for it to kind of just like make sense a little in our, in our own minds, right? Um, and so I'm really excited to be with you here um, on this afternoon, on the January 20th of the new year. Um, I'm really excited. I wish we could do this a little earlier in the year only because um, it, it tend, it, it, you know, people tend to kind of start thinking about those goals in December and they want to start January 1st, right? And, and, uh, and, and so the earlier we could talk about these things, the better it is for us to be able to Again, really tackle those goals the way that the way that we should, right? Um, and so that's what I'll be talking about. That's what I'm going to be talking about this morning. I'll be talk, I'll be talking about goals, setting goals, um, some of the things that we have to think about when we set goals, um, and then the importance of of us, of ourselves, right? Often we have goals, but those goals may not be about us. It's about things around us, right? But we have to make ourselves first. We have to be selfish, you know. And it's it, it's it's almost made to feel like it's taboo to be selfish. But being selfish is important. Before you can be, be, be before before you can be selfless, you have to be selfish. You have to be worried worry about yourself first. And again, even that in itself sounds a little bit like oh, I don't know, a little cringe, right? You have to be selfish before be selfless. But if you're not right, how can everybody else be right? If you're not right, how can your kids be right? If you're not right, how can your if you're a leader of an organization, if you're a leader of a team, if you have a business, how can how can the people who work for you be right if you're not right, right? And so it all starts with you. It, it, it all starts with you working on yourself. And so we'll be talking about that today. We'll, we'll, we'll do a, a little project to kind of see how well we know each other and whatnot. And then hopefully, again, we can take this information with us and grow on it, whether you do it with me and talk to me about it more in the future or you do it by yourself. Um, so with all that being said, Let's get started. Um, I, I'm, uh, first of all, I want, I want to congratulate you guys for being here today because it's one thing for us to say that we're going to do something. It's a whole other thing for, for us to take a step forward towards that thing, whatever it is, right? And a lot of us think about things that we want to do. We, we have these goals. We have these things that we want to do. And we have great ideas, but a lot of these ideas don't ever even leave our head. Like, they just stay there forever. And then later on, we're like, oh, I used to have this idea of the thing that I wanted to do, but it didn't work out. But no, it's not that it didn't work out. You didn't work out. You didn't get up and actually do it, right? And so the fact that you guys are here with me today um, means that you're taking a step towards perhaps seeing how you can maybe uh, 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 actually conquer some of these goals that you have. And so rather than it being about, oh, or well, Eddie's in the front talking, it's more about you. It's more about you guys taking the actual step to, you know, drive from Shelton, drive from wherever you're coming from to actually listen to something that may or may not help you um, with your goals, right? And so first of all, that, that's the first thing that, that, that I want to um, focus on is, is, um, is the fact that I'm happy that you guys are taking a step towards helping yourselves out because, again, that's, 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 uh, that's super important. Um, as as uh, as he said before, I came up here. My name is Eddie Martinez. I go by Eddie Transcendent on uh, on social media. If you ever want to find me, you should and follow me. Um, I'm from Bridgeport, born and raised here, um, born and raised in this area, born and raised in the East Side. I actually used to come by here all the time because I went to school with Thomas Hooker. And if you're from the area, you know that Thomas Hooker School is right up the street here. Um, but the crazy part was that. I live all the way in the other side of East Main Street, right? So where Steel Point is, if you're from Bridgeport, where Steel Point is, um, there used to be buildings there. There was a restaurant there, La Familia restaurant, grocery store, botanica, all the other, you know, typical kind of Latino stuff going on over there. And I lived there, and I went to school all the way in, in, um, at Thomas Circle. It was just weird. For some reason, that was, that was the, um, the, the, the for whoever lived there went to Thomas Circle. It wasn't Moran, even though Moran was closer, it was, you know, Thomas Circle. Um, in any event, um, so I went there. Um, but I remember this space specifically because although I used to catch the bus there, it came a point where I wasn't, I wasn't catching the bus anymore because I, I was a smart mouth, right? And, and I always wanted to be, you know, talk and, and say things I shouldn't be saying. And I got so many chances to, to where I got kicked out of the bus, right? So I got kicked out of bus 45, and so I couldn't take bus 45 anymore. And so I had to walk from one side of East Main Street all the way to Thomas Circle every day because we didn't have a car. Mommy didn't have a car, so she couldn't take me to school. Um, and so I bring all that up because that experience from me getting kicked out of that bus and having to walk to school every day in the, in the, in the cold of the winter and the hot of the summer, 
um, the things that I learned in that experience are the things that I'm going to talk to you about today here. And at that time, I didn't know that I learned these things, you know, these things that I'll be talking about. But when I think back at it, I'm like, oh, no, yeah, that definitely came from that experience. And others like it, right? But that experience in itself taught me some things that are so important, right? Things that we have to think about whenever we want to set goals and conquer those goals, right? Um, so that, that, that's kind of the, the, the intro to how I got to, to, to where I'm at today in terms of the things that I'm thinking about as I'm living day to day, right? And so I say all that to say that the things that you go through in life do kind of help you become who you become later on. And sometimes you have to really sit down and really think about these, these specific little details, these little things that happen in your life, and you'll see, oh my God, I got so much, like I, I, I learned so much through those things that I didn't realize until I started to really think about them. And then for me as a speaker, it's just another weapon for me to have, right? And so like I, I you know, I'm a veteran, I was in the, I was in the army, did the whole Iraq thing and, and all that, right? And, and I learned a lot, right? But one of the things that I remember a lot is that when you're overseas, when you're at war, you have different weapons that you can use against an enemy, right? And depending on who that enemy is, then you're going to use a specific weapon, right? So if you're right next to me and you're coming at me, I'm not going to shoot you. It's going to take too long. I'm not going to throw a grenade because it doesn't make any sense. So it might be hand-in-hand -hand combat. But if you're a little further away, then I might just, you know, take the gun and I might just shoot. But if you're too far away, I'm just, it might be a grenade, right? And so depending on the situation, then you use different things, you know, that you have on your tool belt to be able to use that. And, and, uh, and, and that's the same thing that happens with life. The different things that you go through in life give you different things that you put on your belt that you can use later on in life thinking back at that, thing, at that specific event that happened, right? And so if you say and think, there, there are different things that you learn through those different uh, 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 experiences in life then you then now use now. Even if you do it subconsciously, it's because of that thing, right? And so, again, coming here, driving in here, I'm just, uh, uh, for some reason, I mean, so many things have happened in Bridgeport to me, but I'm thinking about, oh, my God, that was a long walk. I mean, if you know, you know. I mean, from down there up there, that was a long walk every day. Um, and, and there was nothing I could do. Just walk. I mean, I tried riding a bike, but it got too cold for that, you know, all that good stuff. Um, but that's that. Now, today we're here to talk about goals and, uh, and, and, and how to conquer them, right? And specifically, because at the beginning of the year, we're talking about, um, you know, th those New Year's resolutions. And we all do it. All of us set New Year's resolutions um, in the beginning of the year. But unfortunately, a lot of the... the um, the numbers show that by the end of the month, by the end of January, most people already fell off. Specifically, you know, I'm, I'm looking here, specifically, by February 1st, most people already quit. And that, that, that particular information is not on your paperwork. Um, it's on my notes. But, but um, by February 1st, most people have already quit. Out, out, of, out of a poll of 2,000 people, it says that, that, that it takes, that, that once you get up to 32 days into the, into the new year, meaning once you're in the beginning of February, at that point, already, uh, most of the people have already broken that resolution. And so, and, and that's, that's only going into February. 68% of those said that they lost it before that. And so before you even get into February, you already, you already lost that, that, that passion to really, really conquer whatever that goal was that you had or whatever that re resolution was. But why is that, right? And so we have to ask ourselves, why is it that, that we're setting these goals, but we're not really reaching them? Why is it that not even a month into it, we're already, we're already kind of giving up on it? And a lot of it has to do with how much do we really want it when, we, when, when we're actually setting it, right? Are we setting goals? Are we setting res resolutions because we want that? Or is it because Eddie said he's going to set a resolution, so I'm going to set one too because I want to be like him, right? Or is it because, you know, Gina in the back, she, she did something last year that was so incredible, and I want to do that as well, and so I'm going to set a resolution that's kind of evolved around what she did last year, right? And so we're setting resolutions, but they're not really about us. Even though they are about us, it's more about what the people around you are doing, right? And so one of the reasons why that doesn't work out is because, again, we're setting resolutions because it's something cool to, it's cool to do. If you think back in November and December of last year, everywhere you look, people were talking about resolutions. Well, what are you going to do next year? What's going to happen next year? You know, whether it's an individual or a business, everybody's thinking about what's going to happen next year. You know, and it becomes trendy. And then everybody, everybody wants resolutions, right? And, and then it gets competitive. Well, if your resolution is to do this with your business, then I want my business to be even bigger and better. And I might not, I might not say that, but, I, but, but, but for myself, I'm, I'm thinking, well, no, I want this many new clients. You know, I, I want to be able to sell these many new houses, right? And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But where is it coming from? Like, where, where, where is that want really growing from? Is it from you or is it from what you're seeing around you? And so what we have to do is that we, is that we have to start thinking about what we want, right? What is it that we want? 
That way, when, when it's working or not working, we can be accountable to ourselves. And so that accountability comes from you actually wanting to do it for yourself, not for somebody else. When you do it for yourself and you hold yourself accountable, then it works. Because if it, because if it doesn't work, then you look to yourself and you say, you know what? You're not doing what you're supposed to do, and you fix it. But when you're doing it for someone else, then you're not accountable to it. Because if it doesn't work, then you don't really care because you're doing it for somebody else, right? And so we have to start thinking about why it is, excuse me, we, we have to start thinking about why it is that we're, um, that, 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 uh, that we're setting these goals. Are we setting them for ourselves or are we setting them for, for, um, for folks that are, that are around us, for people that we know, for people that are setting bigger goals than, than, um, than we are? And so, you know, kind of taking that and bringing that back to my, my kind of, my, my uh, experience with the school bus, right? What I learned through that experience was, first of all, accountability, right? I had, I had to be accountable to myself, right? I screwed up, right? I didn't, you know, follow the rules on the bus, right? And on more than one occasion, I got in trouble until when they said, you know what? That's it, it's over, you have to walk now, right? And so the accountability piece of it is something that at the, at the, at the moment I didn't know but looking back at it, yeah, I had to be accountable to myself, and now I had to walk because there was no other option. It's not like now mommy can take me to school because she didn't have a car. We, we weren't Ubering. Ubers weren't a thing, right? And so now we're just walking or, or we're riding a bike, right? And so, and so that was the first part. The first part was the accountability. The second part was the boundaries part, right? And so the boundaries wasn't from me. The boundaries was from him, was from the school bus driver. He had boundaries, and we couldn't cross those boundaries. And it was only a certain amount of times that he's going to let us slide until we then had to pay the consequences for kind of going and passing his, those boundaries, right? And so boundaries are very important. They were important to him. And now me, as I look back, I understand the importance of boundaries and, 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 and those boundaries in your life. And when we're thinking about goals, those boundaries, you know, that you have to set so that you can then achieve those goals, right? And then the last thing was consistency. The, what, what, what I learned was that I, I had to be consistent in the way that I was behaving because once you start behaving a certain way for a certain amount of time, it's only a matter of time before people then put you in that place and they see you as that person, right? If you consistently are not a good person, people look at you as you're not a good person. If you're consistently late, then people look at you as you're late, right? And so, and so for me, I had to understand, you know what? I consistently kept doing the wrong thing to where this guy just gave up on me. He gave me a few chances, but then he gave up on me. He said, you know what? This is, it's, it's not, not going to work out with this kid to get out of here, you know? And he kicked me out the bus and I had to walk, right? But it was the consistent part of it. And so those three things, the accountability, the boundaries, and the, and the consistency are, the, are, are very important. And for me, those are the pillars to a purposeful year. And you'll see that in, in, the, uh, in, in the, uh, the papers, the, the, uh, the little packets that I passed out before this, um, that, that uh, I, I believe that, that there's, you know, three pillars that can help you conquer these goals. And I call it the ABCs, right? The ABCs of a purposeful year. And the first one is accountability. We have to learn to, to be accountable to ourselves, right? And so what we have to do is that we, we, ha we have to set these goals, understanding what happens if we don't conquer them and understanding what we have to do to then switch up and make it happen, right? But we have to be accountable. And so there's, there's several ways that you can hold yourself accountable. One of the ways that you can hold yourself accountable is by getting an accountability partner, right? Get someone that you can talk to, get it, whether it's a friend, whether it's your, 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 your partner at home, your wife, your husband, Whatever it is, find somebody that you can talk to about these goals that you're setting and, and say, hey, look, listen, I'm gonna, this is what I want to do this year. I want to do X, Y, and Z. Hold me accountable. Like, if you see me kind of slipping, please hold me accountable. Let me know, right, because I need that help because we need that. The, what, what people see from the outside in you, sometimes you don't see. And so we need that person in the outside to kind of, like, help us get out of ourselves and see us from the outside in. And, and, and often we might see it as criticism or we might see it as, as hating, but it's not. It's just that we can't see things from the outside in, and we need someone to kind of say, you know what, I see it. You know, So either, either somebody's going to help you get you out of you to look at yourself from the outside in, or somebody's going to see you from the outside in and say, look, listen, this is what I see. Like you said that, 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 that you were going to sell that many more houses, but you haven't been out there hustling. You just haven't. I'm sorry, honey, you just haven't. You've been kind of here gaming, I don't know, whatever, right? And, and, and so, and so the, the, the first thing that we can do is that we can find an, an accountability partner. That's going to help you, again, keep yourself accountable. Because without, without that, if, you, if you're going to just count on yourself, then it's too easy for you, for you to just let it go. Because if no, one, if no one else knows, then you're good to go, right? And so if I, if I set a goal this year of speaking at 35 events, right, but I don't tell anybody, 
Now, Gina, she's my niece on the camera. She goes to almost all my events. But let's say if I don't, if I don't tell her that I'm going to be doing 35 events, and let's say we get to half, to like, I don't know, the, the June, and I've only done three events, it's looking like I'm not going to reach that number that I wanted to reach. If she doesn't know, then she's not going to say, hey, Uncle Eddie, you said that you were going to you know, do that thing. She's not going to say anything. If, if only I know, then, then I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm not even going to say anything. No, nobody knows. And, 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 and so I'm going to just leave it. And that's what happens when we set these, these goals is that we think about these things, but we don't talk about them with somebody that we trust so that they can help us keep us, uh, keep us accountable. And then what happens is that we then end up doing the same thing year after year after year. Every year we have these new ideas, we have these new goals, but they never get accomplished because we don't tell anybody and we don't hold ourselves accountable. And so, and so if, if you can't find uh, or if you don't have that person in your life that can help you, then there's coaches that can help you, right? That, that you could talk to them and they could help you help keep you accountable. And that may even work out better for you because if it's somebody that you don't know, then that kind of helps you a little bit because if it's somebody that you know, then you, you do feel a bit of shame, a bit of, of being embarrassed, right, because of that person. And so perhaps um, getting somebody that, that, um, that you don't know kind of helps us kind of keep us, keep us um, accountable. Um, and and just, just always make sure that you're asking for the feedback. Like, it, 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 there's, just, there's one thing to have the accountability partner, but it's a whole other thing to not use them, right? So if they're there, then we have, to, we have to listen to them. We have to trust them. We have to know that what they're telling us is something that we want to hear. And so it, it definitely has to be somebody who, you, who, who, who is close to you and who you trust that's going to tell you the truth. And again, those things are going to bother us sometimes, but we have to do it because they're the ones who are going to tell us the things that we have to hear, right? And so that was, that was, that's, that's the first part. That's the A. That's the accountability. Now, the, the, the second thing that we have to think about when we're setting these goals is boundaries, right? And so we have to learn that we have to set boundaries in our lives in order to conquer whatever that goal is. And so every goal is different, and every goal is, is, going, to, is going to pretty much ask you to set a different kind of boundary for whatever it is. And so we have to start to learn those, those, to, to set those boundaries because those boundaries are going to keep us in line to where we're going, depending on whatever that goal is. Right. And so, and so some of the things that we have to think about when setting these boundaries is that we have to set these boundaries early. Right. And so if you if you're setting goals in January, then in January, we have to set those boundaries and we, and we have to take action on, on those on those boundaries now. Right. So right away, don't wait till later on. If, if, if you have um, if your boundaries are, you know what, I, I'm not going to you know, I'm not going to kind of hang out with these people be, because they kind of get me off track a little bit then start doing that now. Don't say, well, you know what, uh, eh, I'm going to hang out with them in January and maybe in February I'll stop. No, no, you have to do it now. You have to make the decision now that this is the boundary that you're going to that you're going to have for that particular goal. Because again, these boundaries are going to keep you focused. So uh, the, the, the first thing to think about is I want to set them early, right? I want to I I set them early. But the second thing that we want to think about is that I want to make sure that, that they're smaller boundaries, right? Don't, don't kind of just go cold turkey on something and just, and just think that it's just going to happen because it's not. The bigger the boundary, the harder it's going to be to kind of keep, right? So set smaller boundaries and let that kind of work to help you conquer these goals. If you, if we, we, sometimes we get a little overzealous and we put too much on ourselves. Well, I'm, I, I'm going to do this and, and the boundaries are going to be that and, and it's, it's way too much. And then what happens is if the boundary is too much, it's going to overwhelm you and then you're going to just stop. And then you become part of the part of the, the uh, of that percentage of people that by the end of January they've already quit. Today, is January twentieth, most people have already whatever they said they were going to do in December, whatever they were talking about on Facebook. Yo, I'm going to uh, you know what the gym. Uh, well, most of the people it, it's, it's it's done. Like it, it's a wrap. It's done. I, I listen. I go to the gym. Every, I'm in the gym every morning at four in the morning. Most people are not about that life. They, they, that's just the truth. And so the, the new people in the gym, they, they come in at six. That's like, that's like a, I don't know if that's like a, something they all agreed upon, but the new people in the gym come in at, they, 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 they come in at six. And I know because I'm like, oh, I got to get out of here, right? So I'm going to get my thing and I, I got to get out of here because, you know, they got new people coming in and they think about the equipment. They don't know what they're doing. And, and, and this, is not, this is not, I'm not shaming them. It's just that they're, they're coming in. But again, they're not setting those boundaries that they have to set, and, 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 and they're, they're not holding themselves accountable with an accountability partner, a.k.a. a fitness trainer, right? And so you're saying to yourself, oh, I'm going to go lose this weight, or I'm going to go gain this weight, or whatever you want to do, but you're not taking the steps to make that happen. You're just saying, well, I'm going to go get that gym membership because it's super cheap right now at Planet Fitness for a dollar or whatever it is, right? And it's going to happen, but it's not going to happen because you don't have the, the, the accountability partner that's going to help hold you, hold you accountable. And then you come to the gym, and then you don't know what you're doing, and again, it's not shaming, it's that you don't know what you're doing because you didn't set the right parameters that you needed to be able to get to conquer those goals, right? And so 
what happens is, <clears throat> in the beginning of the year, I was seeing them. I'm already not seeing them. I, and, and I know. I go I'm there every day. I know, like, the regulars. I know the people who are new. And I know that they're not coming anymore, right? And so most people are not doing it. And a lot of it is coming from that. It's coming from the fact that you don't have that partner to hold you accountable. And you also don't have those boundaries set that are going to help you get there. You know what? I want to get. I want to start getting up at 5 in the morning so I can be in the gym by 6, right, so I can work out. But what do I have to do now? Well, that means that I may not be able to watch, you know, wrestling until 11. Um, you know, I love wrestling. I love Raw, but I can't watch it until 11 because now I gotta, I'm going to go to bed late and I can't wake up that early. So I'm going to have to cut that out. I'm going to have to jump on Hulu and watch wrestling the next day, pre-recorded, and it's going to suck because I'm going to be on Instagram on Monday or, and, and everybody's going to be posting about it. So now I know everything that happened. And, and, and so it's not going to be new to me, but guess what? That's the boundary you set. My boundary is I'm not going to go to bed any later than 9.30. And you have to stick to it, right? And, but I also talked about setting small boundaries. So maybe, maybe that might not be the boundary you wanna, that you want to set. Maybe you don't want to miss wrestling. I don't know, right? But the idea here is that, again, these boundaries are going to help you get there. And the fact that it's January 20th and most people already quit on whatever that goal was just means that they're, that, that, that they're not doing the things that they have to do, like the homework that is going to help them kind of conquer these goals. And so uh, uh, we did A and we did B, right? Accountability and, we, and then we did um, boundaries. C is consistency. You know, we have to be consistent in the things that we're doing. So again, going back to the A and the B, we have to be consistent with those things, right? We have to be, we have to be consistently accountable to ourselves. That means that we're accountable to ourselves every day. And, and it sounds like, um, really, Eddie, every day? Yes, every day we need to wake up and we need to tell ourselves or ask ourselves, like, am I about this life? Am I, do I want to go to the gym at 6 in the morning? Do I still want to do this? Do I really want to get those abs? Do I really want to lose that weight? Do I really want to gain that weight? Whatever it is, we have to wake up every day and we have to look at, look at ourselves in the mirror or however we do it and we have to say, do I want to do this? And be consistent with it every day. That way it starts to move in the right direction. And so we have to be consistent with that accountability and then we have to be also consistent with the, with the, um, with the boundaries we set. If I, if I set those boundaries that I want to go to bed early on Mondays, then I got to go to bed early every Monday. It can't be like, well, I don't know, because this Monday is the Monday before the Royal Rumble. It's going to be crazy. Um, so I, I got I to gotta stay on. No, because, because not, not, now that's going to, that, that may mess up your Tuesday morning, and then that might be it. Like, it might be over, because now on Tuesday morning, you won't go to the gym, right? But Jasmine went to the gym, and I'm seeing her every, every morning there, and on Tuesday, I didn't go, but Jasmine was there. And then now Jasmine is hitting, is hitting me up, like, yo, what happened? You missed, and I'm embarrassed. Because, you know, whatever. And then next thing you know, on Wednesday, I, I don't want to show my face. And then it's over. Like, January is over. You didn't go back to the gym because you were embarrassed because you didn't go that one day. And now you feel bad because now Jasmine is posting the pictures because she, you know, she's doing her thing. And, and you're not doing your thing. And, and, now, and now, now you're embarrassed. And then you don't go back, right? Again, you have to be consistent. So we have to, we have to be consistent. And the best way to be consistent is by making sure that these boundaries are, um, are what do you call it, are, are, um, are smaller. Or like, 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 not so extensive on, on ourselves, right? And as the years go by, then we, we, may, we can make the boundaries stronger. Or as, the, as the, uh, that particular year goes by, you can make the boundaries stronger, right? And, and then that'll help you. But you start small and be consistent with it, and that's going to help you um, get to where you want to get to. Um, so so if, if you have your accountability partner, you have to make sure that, that, you're, that you're looking back every week and every month and seeing where you're at. So whatever that goal is, if you have a goal to get more customers to come into your business, then we have to look at it every week. What do you do different this week? Is it working for you? Well, it is working, yeah, because I got four more customers. Are they coming back or not? I don't know, but you got four more this week, and then you have to keep looking at it, right, and be consistent with that so that you can make sure that you stay consistent. And so we have to make sure that every week and every month of that new year, we're looking to see where we're at in terms of that goal that we had. We have to, because if we're not doing that, then we're not being accountable. Right? And so we have to be accountable to ourselves. So we, we have to make sure that we are consistent with that. And, and then we have to make sure that, um, that along the way, <clears throat> we're, we're celebrating ourselves, right? And I'm saying that because I, I think that too often, it, it, you know, we, we tend to think that in order for us to celebrate ourselves, it needs to be something major. It needs to be something big. I have to be able to close the deal on a, on a $3 million mansion and, and Greenwich in order to celebrate it. No, no, no. I want you to celebrate every, 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 every closure. I want you to celebrate all of them. You know, whether, whether, you, whether you help a client rent an apartment or you bought a, or you got, or you helped someone buy or sell a million dollar mansion, we need to celebrate all of them because that consistency of celebrating is it, going to help keep us motivated, help keep us moving forward, right? And so be consistent 
with again with, with, with being accountable to ourselves, but also be, be be consistent with celebrating yourself. It's important. You matter. Like I said in the beginning of the talk, you have to be selfish before we can be selfless. Be selfish. Celebrate all those wins. This year, I, I started back up um, two of the podcasts that I was doing five years ago. So I started in January. It's a little nervous, but I was like, we're going to do this. So I started doing the podcast again. Um, they're virtual. It's, it's good. I'm thinking about five, six years ago. I was averaging 1,500 um, views on Facebook per episode. It was a beautiful thing. It was me and Gina, remember? Gina, Gina was a lot younger. We were doing it. We didn't even have cameras. We had my phone. And uh, we didn't have no microphone, and, and, we, and Gina was there looking at the, you know, lo looking at, 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 the, at the comments as they're coming up, and she's helping me, and it's a beautiful thing. And people are saying, we can't hear you. And I'm like, I don't have a mic. You know, just do what you have to do, whatever, right? And I'm doing my thing. But we're averaging 1,500 views, and it's a beautiful thing. Fast forward six years, I got the studio at home. I got the good camera. I got the good mic. I'm going in. I'm doing my thing. I do my first interview, and it gets about 500 views. So now I'm like, do I want to celebrate this or not? Like, I'm a little bit embarrassed because I'm like, I used to do 1,500. With the phone, with the iPhone, uh, Gina holding it. She's my tripod. She's holding the, the, the iPhone. Now, I got I got the the official, you know, uh, um, um, uh, the stuff in the room, the cameras and the lighting, and I got everything going. But I only got four or five hundred views in that particular video. But I said I have to celebrate it. We we have to celebrate it because because if we don't, then we, we get ourselves down, and we have to be consistent with it. If I'm going to be consistent and throw it in your face when I got a thousand views, then I'm going to throw it in your face when I got two hundred too. You're going to get all of it, right? And so we have to be consistent. Fast forward two weeks, I did an interview on Thursday that's uh, uh, it's around 1,200 views at the moment. So, you know, we're, we're, we're looking good, but again, it's that consistency. H had I not stayed consistent, had I kind of just give up on that first interview, then the interview that I did on Thursday doesn't happen, and I never get to feel that feeling that I had five years ago when you get all those views. Not so much for the views, but because of the impact, right? When you see all those all the people looking, you know that you're impacting, and, and, and that's what we want to do. We want to be able to impact. And so we want to we be able to... Um, to stay consistent. So guys, as you, again, as you think about, you know, and, and, and I just want to kind of back up a little bit. I'm not sure where you are with your goals for this year, but we, we can hit the restart button right now. Like, like, let's not wait till Monday. Let's not wait till February 1st. Let's not wait till January 1st. If you, if you're sitting here right now, I'm getting goosebumps just saying that. If, like, if you're sitting here right now and you're thinking to yourself, well, Eddie, I know I, I jacked up already. Well, let's hit the reset button now and let's start, um, uh, let, let, let's start fresh right now, right this moment. And start with those goals, with this information that I'm giving you, because I, I, I think that it's, it's okay, we all slip up, but the problem that we have is that we always have to wait for an exact day or an exact number. It needs to be the first of the month. It has to be a Monday. It has to be the first of the year, but it doesn't have to be. Like, even, even the resolutions that you set in January, you could have set them in December. You could have set them in November. You could have set them anytime. But we have this thing where we have to wait. Like, it has to be, like, on our birthday. On our birthday, on my birthday, I'm going to start going to the gym. Or, or it has to be, like, oh, on my anniversary, I'm going to start being nice to my wife again. No, no, no. Start doing it now. Like, as soon as you think about it, just do it right then and there. So let's hit the, re let's, let's hit the reset button. Even if you're still, you know, going good on your resolution, let's hit the reset button so that, so that we can see if some of the information you're going to get today is going to actually help you with that. Because I, I, I think that, um, that, uh, that you know we're 20 days in, but I think that if we start fresh from right now, I think that that we um we should be able to to be good going forward. Um, so so th those are those are the ABCs. You have them there on your on your um on the little package that I gave you, the ABCs of a new year. Um, make sure you you keep that near you. Look at it, see what you can do to um to work on those things. Um, because I believe that, and of course there's more that goes with it, but I believe that that is um going to be a start to help you set your goals and, and, and keep your goals going in the right direction. And that's one of the things, I know the flyer said that I'll, I'll be giving you kind of like sharing different ways in, that will help you, but that's one of the things that are gonna help you. The, the ABCs are gonna help you with your goals for this year. Um, the next thing I wanna do is that I, I, wanna, I wanna go ahead and, um, and I wanna challenge you guys, right? So if you go to the second page of your, um, of your packet, there's a page titled Up for the Challenge. And so what I wanna do is I wanna give you guys a, a, a few challenges, right? And, and, and I'm going to assume that we're all going to hit the reset button today and we're going to start fresh with whatever our goals is, right? And if we're going to start fresh with those goals, then I have, I have a few challenges for you guys to think about here today and as the year goes on that I believe are going to help you with those goals, right? And my first challenge for you is to turn off the noise, right? And I talk about this a lot. If you go on my YouTube page, you see the, 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 turn, off the turn off the noise videos. Um, because I just think it's so important that we have that, that, that for you to turn off the noise. And when I'm talking about the noise, I'm talking about the chitty chatter, the people talking around you, the things happening around you, social media, turn it off. And I don't mean, 
I do not mean don't go on social media. I do not mean don't talk to your friends. I don't mean any of that. But what I mean is that yeah, we, we, we have to turn off the noise around us and focus on what we're doing. We can still have friends and we can still have family and we can still do all those things and that's amazing, but we have to turn off the noise because the, the, the things that people are saying outside of you have nothing to do with you. Everybody else's experience has nothing to do with your experience. And too often we let the noise from outside of us let us think that we can't do that specific thing. Oh, because nobody in my family was ever a speaker, so I can't be a speaker. Ken dijo, who said? Like, and so, and, and so we, we tend to let that noise, and it starts from a young age, and so it's tough, right? Because from a young age, that noise is coming in our ear, the things that we can't do. You can't do this. You can't do that. You shouldn't buy a house. You know, you guys, you guys are real estate agents. The people that, 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 that you guys are meeting, your clients, who they can't buy a house because they were kind of like bred to think or believe that they shouldn't buy a house, that buying a house is bad. Do not buy a house, right? And it's not even their own ideas. It's just their, their own insecurities and, 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 and their own thoughts that people put in their minds about what buying a house is, right? And all the negative things that come with buying a house. Que si lo veo, que si, eh, que si uh, the water, eh, whatever. It's all these things, but it's just noise, right? And so my first challenge for you guys is, as you think about your goals for this year, for 2024, I want you guys to turn off the noise. Because what the people are saying around you has nothing to do with you and shouldn't, shouldn't move you left or right. Now, I'm not saying that everybody's opinion is bad, right? I'm saying that most opinions are not good, right? And so you have people in your life that you love. You have your wife, right? You have your friends. You love them. Those opinions matter, right? So she says something. She's your friend. That matters, right? And so you have your four or five people around you who their opinion matters. These people love you, and the things that they're telling you is what we talked about earlier. Is that accountability piece. It's the piece of somebody being outside of you telling you what they're seeing, right? And so that's okay. I, 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 even, I even tell my clients that they should talk to those people and tell them, hey, listen, like, what do I need to work on? Like, you know me. You sleep with me. We live together. Like, what is it that you see in me that, that I'm not doing that I need to work on? Like, let me know, right? Because those people are going to tell you, the people who are close to you. Gina sees, has been seeing me talk for the past few years. I can ask Gina, Gina, what am I doing different? What, what can I do better? You're behind the camera. You, you know. And so I take her opinion. That one matters, right? Um, but a lot of the other ones do not matter. And so what we need to do is we need to turn off that noise. There's way too much noise out there, and we're falling for all of it. Because somebody couldn't conquer it, I can't conquer it. Because, because, because that, that, that person, nutrition, business, went out of business. Mine is going to go out of business too. No, it's not. This is my business. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to sit there and be in denial, right? Like, if it's not good, it's not good, right? And that, that's when the accountability piece comes in. But we have to make sure that we turn the noise off. So my first challenge to you guys in this new year is to figure out who the four, five, six, seven people in your life are that matter, that their opinions matter. Figure who the people are out. Maybe write it down somewhere. You don't tell them. Like, don't, don't be like, oh, you don't matter. You don't matter. You matter. Like, don't do that. We, we, don't, we don't want a problem, right? We, you, we, 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 yeah, we, we still want our friends. We still want to go hang out. But, like, but, but, but for example, like, like if you're my wife, your opinion matters. If you and I go out to drink, your opinion might not, I mean, we hang out, we watch the game together, but your opinion might not matter in terms of my business, right? And so sit down and, 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 uh, and just write down five, six, seven people, whatever that number is, there, there's no magic number, but just have that number. Just know who matters, who, who doesn't matter, and turn the noise off because that noise is keeping you from these goals. It, it, it really is. Um, the second challenge is to, to really consider the information that, that, I, that I passed out, right? I passed out a few, a few papers. Um, some of them we've already covered, some we haven't covered yet. Um, but when you leave here, um, really consider the things that are in these papers, right? Uh, right now, it's, it's quick. I'm talking, you're reading, it, everything's coming at you quick, and you might not be able to consider everything in it. But please, later on, do, right? When I post this video on YouTube in a couple of days, go on and just watch the video again and watch it with your paperwork there. And that way you can, okay, okay, that, okay that's what he was talking about, okay, cool, whatever. And just really consider it, right? Some of it you might scratch off and say, yeah, I've done this already, that's not going to work. Or Eddie was full of it on this one, he doesn't know what he's talking about, I'm not going to the gym, like I'm not a 6 a.m. or like whatever. And that's fine. But just look at it and really consider it, really give it an opportunity. Don't, don't, don't be quick to let it go because of what's happened to you in the past. Really give it an opportunity. So consider everything that, that, that's on, this, on, on these sheets. Um, the third challenge that I have for you is to really step outside of the box with these goals that you have for 2024. And I think it says 2023 under. It does. Uh, but it's for 2024. Make sure that you have your, your, your um, those, these goals that you're setting, really step outside of the box with them. Like, really think outside of the box. Like, like really challenge yourself with some of these things. Like, that, that thing that, that, that seemed like it was scary to you, challenge yourself with that thing, right? Really make it a year that, 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 that you set goals that are a little bit 
crazy. But then later on, you're like, oh, it seemed like it was crazy, but it happened, right? And so step outside of, step outside of the box with these goals because that's how we're going to grow. If you're looking to grow, whatever, and whatever you do, you have to step outside of the box and really think bigger. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to grow because if, if you keep setting these goals that's, that, that, that seem cute and, 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 that, and that you know that you're going to get it, then it doesn't help you grow. Like they say, if it scares you, like do that. Do that. Like if it scares you, set that goal. But also make sure that these goals that you're setting don't have anything to do with money. Like if it has to do with money, it's garbage. That goal that you have, if that goal is for money, then it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't work. It needs to be something meaningful. Sure, that meaningful thing may bring you money, and let's do it. I want to speak more this year. That's going to bring me more money. But my thought is not I want to make $10,000 in 2024 speaking. No, my thought is I want to speak at about 25 events or whatever that number is, right? And then, you know, depending on the event, if it's the library, we're going to, you know, we might, we might cut, it might be a little less money. But if it's, you know, at Boca, we're going to give them a little, you know, a little more. They got some more money on that, that side of the city, you know. But the idea is that when you set these, I, I saw you, I got you. Uh, um, well, the, the, the thing is that when you set these goals, make sure that, they, that they're not all dependent on money. Like they're, on, they're not all focused on I'm going to get this much money. Because the more you get of it, the more you're going to, you're gonna, like it's never going to be enough. Right, you're gonna you're gonna keep wanting more, more money, more money, and more. And money is a beautiful thing. We all need money. I'm not saying that it's not, but it needs, it needs to be something that's meaningful to you. Because when it's meaningful to you, then you will do it even even for no money. You know. Again, I, I, Gina's here. I'm gonna be talking about her the whole time. You can't see her in the camera, but she's be, she's behind the camera, and she's come with me for events that have been free, and she's come with me for events that are not that, that have been paid. Right, and so it, 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 the money part of it, it shouldn't be the goal. The goal has to be. What can that particular goal do for you or for your business? Again, like I said in the beginning, selfish before selfless. Think about you first, then you can give. So make sure that that's these goals, whatever these goals that, you, that you're setting, make sure that they're not set on money because, again, it, it, we, we, it needs to be a, something that has more substance than, than just money. Um, and the last, uh, the last challenge that I have for you is to really work on you this year. And, and again, it, it's going to be a repetitive throughout this whole, um, this whole talk. You need to work on yourselves. You are important. You are who matters. Regardless of what anybody says, you have to be selfish before you can be selfless. And, and, and it sounds like taboo. It sounds cringy or whatever, but we can't help others until we help ourselves. And so I really want you guys to really take the time to help to work on yourself. Work on understanding who you are. Right? Not what people think of you, but who you are. Work on whether that's getting a coach, whether that's doing assessments, whatever it is. Work on really understanding who you are because it's not until you know who you are that you can truly move forward positively with purpose. We, you, everybody in here has a purpose. I'm not sure if whatever you're doing for a living is your purpose. It might not be. I'm not sure. But everybody has a purpose. But you're not going to be able to discover that purpose until you work on yourself. And, and when I say discover, I'm saying discover because, we, because our purpose is all inside of us. We, we all have a purpose. We were all born with a purpose. We don't have to find nothing. Words matter. And when people say, I'm just trying to find, I'm trying to find my man, or I'm trying to find my, the love of my life, or I'm trying to find my, my I'm, I'm trying to find my career. You don't have to find it. It's not out there. It's not like I'm going to go out and just find it over there at the corner by the grocery store. It, 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 you don't have to find it. It's all inside of you. You have to discover it. And you discover it by understanding who you are, by really working on yourself, by really listening to yourself. Like that gut feeling is real. And, and too often, we look back at it. We look back at, at, at the gut feeling, right? We say, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew I shouldn't have dated that guy. I knew I shouldn't have, you know, went to that meeting. You know, I knew, or I knew I should. It's always, I knew I should, or I knew I shouldn't have. That means that before that thing happened, you got the feeling like, hmm, this might not be good. But you're like, eh. Gonna do it, like, you know, and then you go do it, and it doesn't work out, and you're like, oh, man, you know, and so that gut feeling, that's you yourself telling yourself what to do and what not to do, and we often like let it go and do our own thing, not realizing that we know ourselves better, and, like nobody knows ourselves better than ourselves. Your gut feeling, that gut feeling, nobody knows you better than that gut feeling, and so and so when it's telling you, yeah, we have to listen to it, and so we have to we, we have to get in, into a place where we are listening to ourselves and we are understanding ourselves if we really want to discover what that purpose is because that's going to then lead you to trying different things and those different things are going to open up whatever that purpose is because, again, we all have a purpose. We were all born with a purpose. We just have to discover it. First, you discover your gift, whatever that gift is, 
And then that gift would then lead to a purpose. My gift got me kicked out of the bus. Talking too much, whatever, telling people how I feel, whatever, whatever, because I had a gift and I didn't know how to use it, right? Now, fast forward a few years, not so many years, um, I'm here and, 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 I, and, I, and now I discovered that that was the gift and the purpose is to help impact lives with it. And that's what we're doing here today, right? We're helping impact lives with the gift. And so to do that, you have to start working on yourself. And we're going to get into, in, in, in a minute, we're going to get into a, um, a, 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 a quick little presentation um, on, on how you can work on starting to understand yourself. Um, because I, I think that that's key to being a successful year. We have to start the process of really getting to know um, who we are. That is then going to help us understand who we are around. And that is really going to change our lives. Because we are raised with this idea of treat people the way you want to be treated. It sounds nice. Don't get me wrong. It sounds super cool. Treat people how you want to do it. You want to be treated. Well, you want that done to you? Don't do it to like all that. You know that's and that, that it sounds good. And there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is that everybody doesn't want to be treated the way that I'm treated, right? When I see you, like I'm a hugger. Hey, what's going on? You know, and I, and, I, and I'll give you a hug and whatever. And that's cool for me, but it might not be for you. And I need to know that because if I go to you and I try to hug you, you're not a hugger. You're like, oh, creep. <laughs> creep, what's going on here? I'm out, you know? And, and, and then you thinking, I'm like, you know, I'm, maybe I'm fresh or whatever. No, I'm not fresh. That's just the way that I am, right? And so we have to start to not only know who we are, but know the people that we're around because that's going to help us be more successful and really accomplish those goals. Not only in, 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 our, in our friendly life, but also like at work. If we work around people, we need to know who we're working around because everybody is different. Everybody's not going to want to go to happy hour. You might say, I'm, I'm good, I'm not... And, and then you know what I'm going to do to you when you say you don't want to go to happy hour? Ah, uh, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't be like that. Don't be such a, you know, uh, whatever, party pooper. And I'm talking crap to you, right, because you don't want to go. That's just not who you are. But if I understand who you are, then I'm like, hey, we're going to go to happy hour. He's not going to go. It's cool. You know, whatever. And just and do that. Or we do happy hour for these people, and then we do something else for you because you're, you, you might want to do something else, right? And so we have to start understanding who people are. And so rather than, rather than thinking treat people the way you want to be treated, we need to think treat people the way they deserve to be treated according to who they are. But be smart about it, right? We're, we're, we're not saying, oh, he's, he's a jerk. I'm going to treat him like a jerk. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that understand that, like, I don't move as quick as you might want me to move, babe. So when you told me to throw the garbage out, I'm going to throw it out, but it's not going to be right now. I got you. I got you. I'm going to throw it out, but not right now. So please don't come back at me 15 minutes later and say, I'll tell you to So my girl, she knows, like, I, I, I kind of do it on my own time. And then I get it done. It's just it's, it's, it's when I'm ready. And it, it's not, I'm not doing it to be spiteful. That's just me. Like, I'm like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> sure, girl, I didn't do it. You know, and I, and I go do it, right? But once you understand who you're dealing with, then you don't get yourself all worked up thinking, oh, he just, he, he just being, you know, he's being a brat. He's being, you know, whatever. No, no, that's just who he is. And so the last challenge is for you guys to please work on understanding who you are. Work, work, on, work on understanding yourself because that's going to then help you move forward um, with these goals that you have.